What's up, y'all? This is Mommy Wata, and I'm back with another channel message. I hope everyone is doing good at this time. One of y'all have a new hater, and usually we don't focus on haters too much, you know, because they're going to, haters going to hate, they're going to do what they're going to do. There's so many of them. I mean, you can't give personal attention to all your haters, okay? You can't really give none of them no attention. But this one right here is, um, not triggering me, but it's catching my attention because this woman really has no reason at all to dislike you, but someone has told her something that's not true about you in relation to her to get her to hate you. It's like they needed somebody else on their team to hate you. So now this new person hates you. Okay. So the real issue is this person who's going around recruiting people to hate you, telling lies on you to get people to hate you, okay? We want to know who that person is because this woman, 111 on the phone, who has this fake beef with you, like she thinks you've been sitting up talking shit about her, all kind of stuff. You don't even know this woman. I don't understand this. Like, you, you don't even know this woman. You cannot pick her out of a crowd, okay? But she swears that you have some issue or vendetta with her. And so that's why I was like, why, Holy Spirit, why is this hater so mad? Want to fight you and all, girl? But why? Because somebody told her a lie about you that was not true in relation to her. So let's see what it was. Holy Spirit, what is the insight and guidance that you want us to have? We have the Nine of Wands. I'm trying to tell you, we have the Nine of Wands and the Three of Swords, okay? This woman may be a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. This woman is in the Nine of Wands and the Three of Swords, okay? And she thinks the reason why she's in the Nine of Wands and the Three of Swords is because of something that you did or said, that somehow you contributed to her current emotional state. We got the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom, and the moon card, some for, and the hermit card. Now, this woman thinks that you are behind the scenes, cloaking yourself, causing trouble for her, doing things in the dark, talking about her, saying stuff about her. But again, it was like, well, where's she getting all this from? Because this woman do not know you personally. You and this woman ain't even said hi, hello, or nothing in passing like, you don't even know this broad, okay? But she is like fixated on you and she really feels like you're some type of enemy. But that's because there's somebody else who's been cloaking themselves, so-called giving her insight and wisdom on who you are and what you have apparently done to her, okay? Possibly a King of Cups. It's something about this King of Cups and this King of Pentacles here. These are two different people. It's really given that this King of Cups said something that this feminine did with this King of Pentacles, okay? This King of Cups is not emotionally connected to this Queen of Wands. They are not intimately connected. But this Queen of Wands was intimately connected to this King of Pentacles, so your hater is a masculine child. What in the hell? He trying to he trying to stop people from fucking with you. He trying to get people to be mean to you, hate you, all kind of shit. But the, you see the four of pentacles is in reverse, right? He was trying to cause a rift between this king of wands and this king of pentacles. And he put your name in it. I mean, this Queen of Wands and this Queen... Yes, that's what I'm getting here. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. Strength. Very persistently trying to cause this King of Pentacles and this Queen of Wands to break up. And he used your name to do it. This King of Cups here, why? Because this is weird. We have the Nine of Pentacles. This is your energy. Okay? Okay. Because you 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 are shining right now. 
Somebody is jealous. They mad that you in this nine of pentacles energy. This king of cups is. And this king of cups is who threw your name in the hat when it came to whatever problems was going on between this king of pentacles and this queen of wands. You do not know this king of pentacles. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. You're not messing with this man. You don't know this man. But this king of cups then lied and said that you... This King of Cups then lied and said that you are causing blockages. You are the reason why this Queen of Wands ain't with this King of Pentacles. That you are who she need to be going toe to toe with. Because she you are causing problems in her relationship. Okay? So we got a whole King of Cups out here being a little bitch. Gossiping and spreading lies and rumors and shit to try to cause problems for this Nine of Pentacles. Can I get some information on why this King of Cups is so upset, Holy Spirit? Mm. Because this Nine of Pentacles ate of Cups his ass, okay? And went and got justice elsewhere. And is in her Ten of Pentacles energy, living her best life, possibly being somebody else's ideal love choice, okay? This is why this King of Cups is so upset with this Nine of Pentacles. This woman really is off living her best life, but it ain't with this King of Pentacles, and it definitely ain't with this King of Cups, and he's upset about it. We have the Hierophant. This woman may even be possibly committed to or getting married to somebody else. With this justice, ten of pentacles, lovers, and hierophant back to back, this woman is not pressed, but she ain't pressed a little bit about this king of pentacles. She don't even know who the fuck this is, okay? So this queen of wands out here talking all this shit about this nine of pentacles, wanting to fight her, all this bullshit, she need to go sit her giraffe ass down the fuck somewhere. I'm getting that shit. This one of them hoes that think because they big and tall that they can beat up everybody. I'm definitely picking that shit up. But you know, the big, the taller they are, the harder they can fall, okay? Somebody need to hear that shit. Because I'm really picking up on some heavy energy off of this Queen of Wands. Like, she's very angry at this woman that she don't even know. She wants to try to do something to balance this situation, but in a negative way. Like she, she wants to do something against this woman because of what this King of Cups told her, okay? But this King of Cups is mad because this Nine of Pentacles don't want to be with him, child. We got the hangman in reverse. This man trying to get this woman caught up. He trying to get somebody to even fight this woman, because he mad because he can't be with her. I wouldn't be with your bitch ass either. And look what then came out. This five of swords. He mad. He really mad. So he going around trying to make other people mad. What is the connection between this queen of wands and this king of cups here, Holy Spirit? We have the chariot. Mm. What is given is that Look, what it's given is that this King of Cups wants to be with this Queen of Wands, okay? He want to fuck with her too. Or maybe he already has. They coming out as each other's match now. So I guess his, his way to get back at you and get this woman simultaneously is to make her think that y'all got beef. It's a lot of men out here who do that. They'll hook up with women, meet new women, and they will literally pillow talk and have hating ass conversations about the women that they used to sleep with or the women that they can't fuck with no more to try to make these new women jealous and mad and upset and think that they got some kind of enemy out here. That's a narcissistic tactic, okay? To try to make the new woman think that the old woman is her enemy. It gives them some type of ego boost. When they see this new woman have all of this hate and maliciousness for their old woman who wouldn't play along with their bullshit, okay? 
And it really get it really makes their dick hard when they can make this new woman act a fool and hate on this other woman that she don't even know. So that's what's happening here. This King of Cups then lied on his ex to this new bitch he trying to get with, making her think that the reason why she ain't wasn't able to be with who she was with was because this Nine of Pentacles came in between them somehow. But he's he trying to hook up with this Queen of Wands. So he's trying to use this Nine of Pentacles name and energy as bait to try to reel this other woman in and keep her away from the King of Pentacles. And the Holy Spirit says that's the truth now. So that's some old crazy ass bitch shit right there. Okay. That this and he may be a I just heard this may even be a Scorpio here that's doing this. Clarify that Holy Spirit. I can't make it up. This this Scorpio King of Cups energy is taking this action against this nine of pentacles, somebody he used to mess with. Because he mad that she don't want to mess with him no more. And all it look like he can mess with is this Queen of Wands here. Okay? So, he like, well, I'm going to just kill two birds with one stone. I'm going to try to cause some issues for this Nine of Pentacles. And I'm going to try to get this Queen of Wands at the same time. And that's what's happening here. He's definitely took this action to try to have a re... Uh, I feel like, honestly, y'all... This King of Cups always wanted to get with this Queen of Wands, but she wasn't in a position because she was in a commitment of some kind with this King of Pentacles. But now that she's single, he he's trying to start up something with her. It's given like, no, we couldn't get together back then because you was with him. But now that you single, we can have a rebirth. Now that you know the truth about how he played you with this other broad, you can really fuck with me now, okay? He definitely laid it on thick with this Eight of Wands and this Page of Wands, 1212 on the phone. He laid it on real thick to appear as this boss-ass motherfucker who she needed to hook up with, okay? Really did. But I def most definitely see why this Nine of Pentacles ain't dealing with this King of Cups? He a shapeshifter, first of all, y'all. This man will become a chameleon. He came out as the damn hermit King of Cups. He definitely will disguise himself, mask himself. This one of them people that walk around all the time and you can't never really see their eyes because they got sunglasses on all the time. This a whole motherfucking shapeshifter right here. This man that came out as damn near... He came out as the King of Cups, King of Swords, King of Wands, and the Emperor. This is how he, he blends in, how he'll switch up his persona, his energy to get what he wants. 1313 on the phone. We have the Empress. He can't have this Empress. What I'm getting, see, this is just that same type of shit. But it's so many stories, so many situations. It's thousands of situations like these. So, you know, different occurrences will pop up. But this motherfucker wish he could be with this Nine of Pentacles child. He wish he could be the emperor to her empress. This is why he's trying to walk around and carry this energy now. This is why he's out here trying to portray himself to other people like he is some type of boss, that he is some type of dominant male figure. But this man is truly in regret that he could not be with this empress. And I'm telling y'all, she ate a cups this shit, but I guarantee you that this masculine did something for her to leave him behind. He laid it to rest. Look, we got the four of swords and the ten of wands. He decided to lay it to rest, so she didn't have no other choice but to give it up. Okay? But like I said, I know she glad she gave it up now. Because when she ate a cups, this king of cups, she walked into justice, ten of pentacles, the lovers, and the hierophant. And 
temperance. Definitely got her life got balanced right away on right on out in her favor. So why would she want to return to this man? Because I feel like he possibly did try to rekindle things with her. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. Look what then came out now, the Queen of Pentacles. This man, at one point, this King of Cups did try to rekindle things with this Nine of Pentacles Empress energy here. But she did not accept his offer. Obviously, she did not accept his offer. Look at here. The Six of Swords. And so now he's out for blood. He got to get him a new tenderoni. A new bust down. So now he, look. But he got child 1551 on the phone. This Queen of Wands better not let, that, let, let this King of Cups play her to be embarrassed. Because this man be crying over this Empress at night, child. This same woman that he got you thinking been messing with your ex and you want to fight her and you got all this beef with her and you think she be talking about you and all this fucking whack ass lame ass shit that I'm picking up on. You doing all of that and this man that you con contemplating hooking up with who's telling you all this shit, this damn man be crying about this damn empress. This same woman he be talking shit to you about. So don't believe the hype, okay? Somebody need to hear that. Because I'm telling you, and I think this is a Sagittarius. I keep hearing Sagittarius. This Queen of Wands, she's so ready to try to balance a motherfucker out. She's so ready to try to make some type of move against this Nine of Pentacles who don't even know her. It's really given they don't even be around the same people. They not in the same energy. It's a whole nother level with this Nine of Pentacles Empress here. And it's like this woman is just hell bent on trying to have a problem with her. But it's because the man she about to hook up with then lied on this Empress's name. Meanwhile, his ass is crying in the car, crying in the bed, crying all night long about how he fucked up with this Divine Feminine. And he wish, he wish Fuck this queen of wands. That's just something to do. Because he ain't got nobody else to do. So he working on her. But this man wish he could have a new beginning with this empress. Okay? Fuck what you're talking about, queen of wands. Because this woman is really like, she got some heavy energy for a woman she don't even know. And that's weird to me. Even if somebody told you that this woman may have slept with your ex, you really can't, like, if you have no evidence of that, if you ain't never even seen this woman around like that, it's like weird like that. Like, I, I'm picking up people have asked this woman, are you sure? Are you sure about that? I don't think that's right. I don't even think that girl know your ex. I mean, I'm hearing people tell this woman she needs to turn her back to this smear campaign, this hate train she trying to sell tickets for regarding this empress here. She been talking shit to other people about this woman. And other people been telling her, boo, you got it wrong. This a queen of cups you talking about. That woman ain't fucking with you and she ain't fucking with your ex either. This woman off somewhere doing her own thing. This three of wands is telling me that there's distance between this queen of wands and this empress here and this king of cups. She ain't, no. And see, the, the fact that she didn't even came out here as a queen of cups lets me know that that's, this king of cups really want to be with her. 1919 on the phone. I'm trying to tell y'all, he really want to be with her. And I don't know if people have told her, told this Queen of Wands that, okay? But there's a Queen of Swords who has said to her, girl, you reaching. There's no evidence that this woman even know your man. This, this King of Cups tells you that, telling you that because he want to make sure you leaving this King of Pentacles alone for good so he can mess with you. 
okay? But it's a queen of swords who's told this queen of wands. That's a whole ace that you're trying to fuck with. So, you know, I don't know if you're ready for that energy because she a whole ace of pentacles. So tread lightly. Think twice. That's what I'm hearing that this queen of swords has told this queen of wands. You become so fixated on this, this empress because of what this one man has said. 2022 on the phone. That you're going to get fucked up now. You think you're in the nine of wands and the three of swords already. Keep on fucking around with this ace of pentacles. You really going to see some endings in your life. Somebody then told this girl that she need to choose wisely. Okay? When coming and fucking with this empress because her whole platform of hate is built on a lie. Okay? And no matter what she say or do, this empress's future is going to remain bright. And she going to get herself caught up somehow. Okay? Keep running her mouth about the wrong woman. She going to have herself publicly caught up. 2112 on the phone. Okay? Because this little bullshit I'm picking up on, this some old bullshit. This somebody who get on social media and talk shit from behind their account. But when they see this person that they talking shit about, they ass go mute, honey. They ain't gonna have shit to say. They ain't gonna bust a damn grape. Okay? And Mommy Water said that. And I'm standing on that. Whoever this hoe is, her ass ain't gonna bust a grape. She putting on for her little community. She putting on for her little city. Coming and fucking with this empress. But somebody done already told her she need to think twice. Okay? And it's out here how she gonna get fucked up if she keep coming for this woman. Who ain't even did nothing to her. Who don't even know her. Or her raggedy ass ex. Okay? Because I'm picking up that this king of pentacles did engage in some knight of wands. Knight of cups. Page of cups behavior. But it wasn't with this woman. This woman wasn't even in the mix. Ain't never been in the mix. Okay? So she could keep following up this damn king of cups shapeshifter head ass if she want to. But she better think twice. Any final messages? Think twice, my nigga. Okay? Somebody need to think twice. Because you coming for this woman with this devilish energy, whatever you send out is going to be returned to you. Whatever energy you send out, thinking that you hurting and harming somebody else is going to cause destruction in your life. And I'm dropping the mic on that night of, night of swords, y'all. I am. I hope this message helps somebody. I hope it provides you with the insight and guidance that you're looking for. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.